Okay, good morning. We're in the captain's galley this morning. I've been doing a lot of baking lately. If you see my Facebook stuff, you see I've been making strawberry cheesecake, chocolate cheesecake, banana bread, brownies, uh, and I made a nice pound cake the other day. Today's the first day that I'm gonna be able to make bread since the accident in October, because I'm right-handed and I totally lost my right arm. So, uh, and right now I only have about 50% mobility, but I got enough to do the bread. So I made some dough yesterday and uh, I always make it the day before and I let it ferment in the refrigerator so it gets more flavor. And so right now I'm getting ready to put the first one in the oven, but I wanna show you what I do to get them in the oven. So right here, we have sourdough starter. And that, this sourdough starter is probably a good two weeks old right now. And um, all this is is flour and water. And you mix flour and water and you let it ferment. And for the first few days, you just feed it every 24 hours. But after about the third day, you really not need to start feeding it twice a day. So what you do with this is you, you pour half of it out and then you add as much as you want. You can use 100 grams, 150, 200 grams, however much you want, but you use equal amounts of flour and water and you mix them with the already fermented starter that you didn't throw away, right? But I made bread today and I needed 240 grams, which is about what's in this dish. This afternoon, I'm gonna make a double batch of bread, so I'm gonna need about 650 grams of starter. So for the last week, instead of throwing half of it away, I put it in another container, and right now I have three containers of starter going because I'm gonna need 650 grams this afternoon, and then I wanna, you know, keep having this and keep feeding it twice a day. That's how you get the flavor. And this place is in California and other bakeries around the world. They've been using the same starter for 100 years, 150 years, the same mixture. Just keep adding to it. Every time you take some out, you refresh it. So that's what we're doing with the starter. So yesterday I made the dough and um, after I knead it and get it all set and ready to go, like last night, I shaped it and put it in these proofing baskets, and then I put these in the refrigerator. And uh, that's very good for sourdough because when you let them ferment in the refrigerator for at least 12 hours, that's what really develops more flavor in the bread. And then when I put them in the refrigerator, I just put these shower caps on them so they don't dry out. And I just took these ones out of the refrigerator. Now these have already doubled in size from when I put them in the refrigerator last night. And when I put them in the oven, they're gonna go at least 50% more. And um, you know, maybe even close to twice as much as you see right now. So to get them started, we're gonna put some cornmeal on this, this is called a pizza peel. It's called a peel, P-E-E-L, peel. So we put this on the peel, and then we just slip these out of the proofing basket. And then, just stay right there. And then, uh, you know, I can cover these with flour and uh, make a different design or what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna spray it with water because the water will uh, give it the crispy crust that I want. It's gonna make the crust nice and crispy and it's going to make a lot of steam in the pot. I'm gonna bake these inside a cast iron Dutch oven. Like for the first 20 minutes, I'm gonna leave the cover on the Dutch oven in the last 10 or 15 minutes, I will take that cover off 
And, uh, shit, it's not cutting, damn. So cut right into this thing. You gotta cut these things, because these things expand, you gotta let the air out. So, we have to cut into these. And I have the right tool coming for this, but Mr. Amazon hasn't delivered yet, so. Um, uh, so let's get this one in the oven, see what happens. So what I got to do is, I got to preheat this Dutch oven to 500 degrees, which I've done. And then we put some cornmeal in here so it doesn't stick. Put that in the center. Try to get that in there as fast as we can so we don't lose so much heat. And then we just slide that guy in there, put that cover on there. Okay. Now this oven's on 500 degrees. And for the first 20, 25 minutes, I'm gonna leave the cover on. The water I sprayed on there is gonna make steam, which is gonna crisp the crust, and it's also gonna give it what we call oven spring, uh, which is gonna make it pop right up inside there. Commercial bakeries, you know, they put it in the oven, they just hit a button, and it automatically sprays steam in the oven for like the first 20 minutes or so. So, I'm gonna leave this in here. And when I get these done, I'll either make another video or I'll take some pictures and show you what the finish looks like. But that's how we make the dough and that's how we get them in the oven. All right, thanks for tuning in. See you on step two, bye-bye.